Alrighty, good day everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Whistle and today I'm going to be making empowered sigils, so crystal empowered sizzle, sigils, so you could call them crystal sigils if you wanted to. Um, so what do I mean by crystal empowered sigils? Um, so these sigils are going to be empowered with uh, quartz crystal, okay? Crushed quartz crystal, you're going to mix that with the paint that you're going to be used to create your sigil. Um, and this is going to empower the sigil. So crystal, quartz crystals amplify any energy. It's an energy amplification crystal, okay? Um, especially in occult workings, it amplifies energy. Um, I'm not gonna say tenfold, but it amplifies energy, okay? Um, so there are other things. So before we get started, there are other things that you can add to the paint depending on what, what work you're doing, okay? So, for example, if you're working with, like, um, kind of underground, kind of primordial beings, uh, for example, like elves, um, or Nordic work, you could add something like cave dust to your paint, so, or cave sand, sorry. So, cave sand, you can't really see it properly, but there's a tub of cave sand. I got these little vials from an Etsy store called Zuggins. That's Zulu Uniform, Golf, Golf, Alpha, November, Sierra. Z-U-G-G-A-N-S. Sorry, I know phonetics because I used to work for the NHS. All right, um, so again, Crystal Quartz is going to be the main ingredient, ingredient you could say, uh, and obviously paint. Um, I'm going to be using black paint. Um, if you wanted to use a colour that represents um, an energy you're trying to work with or the energy that represents with the sigil. I'm making one part of uh, multiple sigils today in the video. Um, so I'm going to be doing some part of a name on each sigil. Okay? Um, and I'm going to be doing some other stuff with some sigils soon. But um, we'll figure that out when it, the time comes to it. Now, there's also another thing that you can add. Again, depending what work you're doing. If you're working with kind of death currents, so if you're working with like Azjahi, Samael, uh, the Descended Masters from uh, Connor Kendall's the, the, the Necromancer book, anything like that, you can add graveyard dirt to the mix. Okay? So you can get, either go get graveyard dirt from a graveyard or buy it from a trusted source. Okay? You can graveyard dirt there. And quartz crystals, okay, crushed quartz crystals. Um, you can use other crushed crystal substances, again, depending on what work you're doing. If you are wanting to attune with uh, negative energy currents, you wouldn't want to use um, selenite dust, for example, like this, okay? But if you were to, if you were drawing a sigil out for someone like Mikael, um, Gabriel, any of the archangels, um, even Lucifer could do with this, okay? Um, but yeah, this is selenite powder. This is my own selenite powder. I just I've got loads of selenite, so I crushed a bunch of it, and I've got loads of powder now that I've barely used, in all honesty. Um, all right, so how much crushed quartz crystal do you need? Not a lot at all. Um, something that you can add into this is your own blood onto the sigil. I'm not going to be doing that today, so what you could do is um, when you add the blood, either depending on how big of a sigil you, you are doing, you could prick your finger or you may need to do a little, a little slice. Again, depending on how big your sigil is. Typically, you'll be fine with just um, using a lancer and getting a few drops onto it. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that in a YouTube video, but I think I'm going to, for the sake of the video, just to show you that you can do it, and there isn't really any issues with adding it in anyway, so, screw it, I might as well, okay, let's get a lancet, I mean, I've seen other people bloodlet on their videos, so, why not, like, I don't, I don't care, it's my YouTube, Little FYI, middle of a random video. I'm never going to have advertisements on my videos. I'm not trying to advert your attention. 
away with advertisements. Um, so we're never going to get advertisements on this channel. I don't really get why spiritual YouTubers put advertisements on their channel. And they talk about advertisements averting people's attention away. A little rant there. Anyway, all right, let's start it. So get something to put paint on. This is a broken piece of an Amazon box. Use whatever you got. Um, I'm going to be painting the sigil on a piece of wood. You can get these pieces of wood from like Amazon and Etsy for like a tenner for like 40 of them. I'll show you. So this whole bag is full of these little things and you can do some great things with sigils, okay? You could literally make a circle with these. Ooh, shoot. Um, you could sigilize um, elemental, elemental sigils, place them at the four corners and then um, if you wanted to apply like Hinduism, they have the, what are they called? Not the four corners, the other directional points, the other four directional points. Sorry, I forgot what they're called. All right, so crystal quartz, crushed crystal quartz and black paint. An optional blood or any of the other stuff you put in. You're going to want to put in, again, depending on what your currents you want to work with. So you do not need a lot of quartz crystals. I'm going to put this in a little thing so it's not falling everywhere. All right, so again, not a lot. I'll show you how much I put on. And that's about it. I don't really know if you can see that well. But yeah, crushed quartz, not a lot of it. You do not need a lot. Alright. And I probably didn't even need that much paint, but there you go. Alrighty. So again, you don't need a lot of paint. I'm just drawing, painting one sigil on this. Um, oh, what one was I doing? Double check. So I'm doing Babayan. Uh, Babayan is an ancient Filipino language um, that was uh, used in the Philippines before the Spanish um, raped and pillaged everyone. Let's just say it how it is, because they didn't conquer, they raped and pillaged everyone, didn't they? Anyway, mix your quartz crystal with your paint. And then if you're going to add blood, do that now. Again, lancet, it doesn't really hurt. It has a little stopping point if you never use a lancet before, so it doesn't go too deep into your finger. And there we go, see? Now, because I use this finger quite often, it didn't hurt as much, but if you watched my other video before, doing the other fingers, like the baby ones, they were a bit different. For anyone wondering if I am actually putting blood in, I don't know if you can see it dropping, but I am. Come on. Alrighty, see? Not that hard and not that painful. Alright, so mix your blood in with the crystal paint and for the crystal and the black paint. And then you paint your sigil, obviously. So, now you can outline it with a pencil if you really, really need to. Um, I know what I'm painting here, so I'm not going to be outlining it. Make sure it's all mixed in. Oh, and then you paint your sigil. So 
I will paint this quickly and then I will show you what it looks like. Again, there's a bunch of different things you can add to the little paint concoction you've made, but depends on what you're doing. Sorry for being rather quiet, I'm kind of concentrating. Feel free to kind of skip the video until I've actually painted it. Uh, I probably won't fast forward it in the editing. The sigil does not have to be perfect, uh, by the way. Just need to double check I'm doing this correctly. See. Yes, cordial. All right, uh, a little circle there. Alright, so that is my sigil done. And I could make, I'm gonna save this paint and make the rest of the other two. Um, so yeah, that is how you make a sigil, an empowered sigil, an empowered crystal sigil, um, with paint. So as you can see, that is the, the buying word for C, which is C-I, so not K-I, C, I, so it means C in Babayan, okay? So I'm going to be making a Lucifer one of these, um, well, a set of them. So I would put L-U on one sigil, C-I, F-E, and then R at the end. And I'll show you what that looks like because I have drew it out on a piece of paper. It looks very interesting. So that is Lucifer in Babayan. For anyone wondering why Lucifer? Well, Lucifer is connected to many, many ancient gods like Prometheus, known to be the one that made the humans, gave them the inner fire, aka the Kundalini energy that keeps them alive. But yeah, that says Lucifer in Babayan, and that is, as you can see, the second sigil, so that one that my baby finger's on, okay? So, quick video, they're easy to make, um, again, depending on what you're doing, you can match the colours to energies, whatever you wanted to do, do that if you feel it's correct for you, okay? Um, but that is it, little art um, video for you today. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I should hope to see you next time. Peace out.